Uh, hey, dos amigos. Hey, dos amigos. Uh, yeah. Dos Amigos, how y'all doing? Her Dos Amigos. I think that's going to be my na new saying because y'all probably thinking like, what? It's not supposed to make sense, okay? Dos Amigos. Her Dos Amigos. That's it. Alright, y'all. So, I have a new um plant haul for you guys. I said I will be back to you. I will be back with another plant haul video this week. Um, if you haven't checked out my mini plant haul from last week, make sure you go and check it out. I'm going to leave it in the description box below for you to check it out or whatever. Okay. All right. So yes, this plant haul is a rare, um, a rare plant haul. Um, it's a few plants that I got in the mail. Um, we've been on this quarantine, so I haven't really been out at all. I've been staying at home. So I got some plants in the mail. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the first plant that I'm going to share with you and... I'm not sure if I shared this plant with you before, but this is a rare plant. You really can't find it anywhere, or at least I haven't found it anywhere. I received it as cuttings in the mail. And this right here is such a beautiful plant. This is the Cebu, Cebu Blue Pothos plant. Um, a friend sent it to me in the mail, the cuttings. Um, I've been really paying close attention to this plant because um, it's been kind of finicky. It's been giving me a little attitude. Like, I'm like... You ain't even that fool to be giving me an attitude like that. Like, you need to bring it down a notch, bring it down a notch. You ain't even all that yet to be bringing attitudes up in this camp. So, I'm about to put some holy oil in this plant because it's going to need Jesus when I'm done with it. So, um, but this plant is really pretty. Um, I love the blue look to it. Um, but I just really been trying to monitor this plant. I did have some of the cuttings in water and they rooted and I put it back in this plant. So it's it's doing okay. It's it's struggling. It's struggling, but it's trying. And as you can see, it has some new growth here. Um, so it's been doing okay. I gave it some plant um, Joe's Joe's spikes fertilizer, which is the best thing ever. So we'll see how it goes. But the middle, as you can see, is not completely full. So what I'm going to do is, um, when this plant keeps vining down longer, I'm going to cut it. Put some rooting hormone on it and put it in the middle so it can be fuller. I've kept it in sunlight for a little bit, which has definitely helped. But I was scared about the leaves um, getting kind of burnt. So I kind of put it away in indirect sunlight. But that's a it's a pretty plant, so hopefully it does well. The next plant I would like to share with you is just such a beautiful plant. Oh my god, I just can't stop staring at it. Um, and um, I got this plant in the mail as a gift. And this is a, um, what is it? Oh, let me show you. This is a, um, what is it? Uh, what is it? Peace Lily Domino. So this is a variegated Peace Lily that one of my soul words sent me in the mail. Um, she is just so wonderful. Shout out to Bri Brianna. Thank you so much. And um, as you can see, the leaves are variegated. It has the white speckles on it. Um, and it has a lot of new growth on it. Like, the leaves are just super pretty. And, uh variegated so hopefully i can upkeep this plant and take really good care of it but it's just such a beautiful rare plant i've never seen this plant in any of the nurseries at all um i've, I've never this is my first time seeing this plant in person i've always saw it online but it's such a beautiful plant and it just has so much new growth and when i got it it came with a bud on it and the bud was so sweet it held on to me for like it held on for like two days and then it started to turn brown, so I went ahead and cut it. Such a beautiful plant. So, yes. If you know anything about that plant, let me know. The next plant I got was, um, this is called a My Angel Begonia, right here. My Angel Wing Begonia. And it's such a beautiful plant. I'm just obsessed with the leaves, the polka dot leaves. It's just, it's just gorgeous. Like, wow, honey. Like, oh, God, you cute, honey. You cute, oh, God. And you can see right here, some new growth right here. This baby leaf coming in. Um, I heard begonias can be kind of finicky, a little picky a little bit. Um, you better be happy because you, you cute. You better be happy you cute. Don't be coming up in my house giving me all these hard times. But if you guys have any tips about begonias, let me know. Um, apparently this plant, this flower is supposed to 
bloom pink flower. This plant is supposed to bloom pink flowers, which I'm really excited about. So it's a really nice plant. Uh, when I got this in the mail, it, the leaves, it was a little bent right here, as you can see. So that might have to come off because it's curled right there. But um, if you guys have any tips for this plant, let me know. This is I'm new to this Begonia World family. I did have a Begonia Rex which was beautiful. The leaves are like a red metallic silver black. So I had that a few years ago. But I'm new to the Begonia family. So keep me posted. Let me know if y'all, you know what I mean. Let us just know. Help us out with these Begonias in life. Okay. The next plant that I would like to share with you that is just super gorgeous. Like being at home and being on Instagram is it's the fun thing, but it's also like you gotta be careful because people post all these beautiful plants and you're like, where you get that from? That is cute. Let me go ahead to Etsy. Let me go ahead to Google. Um, so this plant right here is a Hoya. And Hoya, the Hoya family is one of my favorite plant families. They don't give me any issues at all. I love Hoyas. They don't require a lot of water, a lot of attention. So I really love Hoyas. So this right here is a variegated microphyla, microphyla Hoya girl. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> but this is a variegated Hoya. As you can see, you see some of the pink on the leaf um, and the white and the yellow. But this Hoya is just beautiful. And this came from Etsy. It was such a beautiful plant. Like, look at the leaves. And I did a video on where you can, uh, how you can achieve beautiful, shiny plant leaves. Make sure you check that out. Um, it, it makes a huge difference. So, yes, look at that. It's super gorgeous. Super gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So the next plant I have right here, I loved it so much I had to get another one. Like I loved it, I had to get another one. You saw it in my last video if you have it. This right here is a Philodendron Birkin right here. It's such a beautiful plant. When I got it, this leaf had broke off. I heard you can propagate it. So I put some rooting hormone on it and put it back in the soil. Hopefully it grows. But yes, this is the Philodendron Birkin. I love the leaves. It looks like the as it gets older, the white lines come. And it grows in on the leaves and it looks kind of like a gold whitish speckle on them. Like lines, gold whitish lines. Such a beautiful popular plant, honey. But, honey, she cute. She cute. So the last plant that I would like to share with you guys is this one. It's another begonia. This one is called, let me take it out the pot. Right here, super cute. Mr. Frosty begonia right here. This one is super cute because the leaves have like little speckles on it, like white, white, shiny metallic uh, confetti speckles on it. I don't even know if you can see it, but it's so cute. Um, it reminds me almost like a like a Christmas plant. Like it's super cute and pretty, and it's growing. But um, I really like this one. It's called the Mr. Frosty Begonia. I never seen this plant before, um, but I loved it. I love the white speckles, and I think I named this one Confetti because it, it's just so cute and metallic, like. Nature is just, Mother Nature is just so beautiful, honey. I wish I could have watched Mother Nature, the good Lord, decorating plants. He was like, I'm going to add some dots on the plants. Let me add some little sparkles. Like, he he, he knew what he was doing was beautiful. These plants are so beautiful. So, yes, that's my mini haul. Um, I do have um, a, some cuttings coming. It's the lipstick Black Pagoda cutting. So, I'll take a picture with that. I'll take a picture of that when I get them on Instagram. Make sure you... Check me out on Instagram, Glam by Day of Plants. I've been posting a lot on there since we ain't got nothing else to do. So if you want to keep up with me on there, check those. Check me out on Glam by Day of Plants on Instagram. Instagram. So yes, that's my little rare plant haul for the spring 2020. I'm not doing no more plants. I got a baby coming in four weeks, if not that. I ain't going to have time for all these plants. And then the spring is coming and I don't want to deal with no gnats, no none of that. None of that. So I have enough here. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. So yes, y'all, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, all that. Da da da. Thank you for your support, dos amigos, and I will see y'all next time. Goodbye.